going on, y'all? This is man Matt Crazy Gabano taking over worldwide. And I'd like to welcome you guys to the ninth episode of... Oh, uh, wait, what'd you say? And today I wanted to get my mind out on something that I know has been a pretty hot topic uh, within the gaming community and the gaming um, business in general. And that is GameStop going back to selling retro video games. And I know a lot of people have probably made reader responses about it, you know, hundreds and thousands of people have written about it and you know what I mean it's all cool and stuff like that a lot of people have different views and different opinions on this topic but you know I figured hey why not make my my personal intake on this topic and give my two cents and put them out out there for the world to know and so I'm gonna be talking about you know some of the good things that can be coming out of this and some of the bad things that may happen so um, yeah let me go ahead and show you guys or tell you guys uh, what I think of this topic and what it can be, why it can be a good thing and why it can be a bad thing. So, let's go ahead and check it out. Alright guys, so the two main reasons that I think... Oh my god. Are you serious? Someone's calling me. That's my mom. Sorry about that guys, hold on. Hello? Mom, I'm making a video right now. I'll call you back later. I'm making a video right now. I'll call you back later. I don't care. I'll call you back later. I'm making a video. What do you mean tell me to lower down my voice? Nigga, you need to lower down your voice. Don't try to talk to me like that. I'm going to put you on speakerphone. Watch. Eh, hey, shut up. Hold on. I'm going to put this. She's, she's yelling right now. I'm putting on speakerphone. Look at that. Dude, she's hella mad right now. Bye! <sighs> Alright guys, so before I was really interrupted, the only two things that I can think of that can be a good outcome towards this issue of GameStop selling old games, uh, number one, if any of you guys out there, um, I know some people can relate to this, um, you know, you live in a certain area or a certain city, and you really don't have any independent game stores in your area, and the only thing that you can really choose from is either eBay, Amazon, Craigslist, or GameStop to pretty much buy games. You know, this kind of goes towards the people who don't really have much to choose from when it comes to buying retro games or games in general. And um, I think it's kind of unfortunate because, you know, a lot of people can't really experience going to an independent game store and finding a lot of cool stuff or stuff that they grew up playing. You know, fortunately for me, I'm, you know, I'm lucky enough to have some game stores, if any at all, that specialize in retro gaming and modern gaming as well. Some examples will be Gamers Paradise, Game Repair, Game World, We Play Games, uh, Game America. And that's all I can think of right now. I remember there was a game haven, but I think they closed down. And some other uh, Goodwills and thrift shops in my area. And, you know, this will be a good opportunity for people who can go to GameStop and to buy retro games. And another good thing that I can see coming from this is that if GameStop is smart about it, and if they play their cards right, then they can sell, you know, classic games or retro games that can go for a lot of money. They can actually lower the prices and sell them for very reasonable prices. And that's something that I would like to see happen because I know a lot of you guys I know, you know, when you shop on eBay, you see a lot of uh, vintage games that go for a high price. You know, they go for high demands. And if GameStop actually carries, you know, those games and sells them at a reasonable price, then that, that will probably change the prices of the games to more lower prices or more reasonable prices prices that you know us gamers us collectors are actually willing to pay because you know there's a lot of people who look at a game they think it's rare and they want to sell it for like top notch and you know if they see that GameStop is selling the same game that they have for like fifty dollars if they see GameStop selling it for like twenty or thirty and people are actually buying it and that their copy is not selling, you know, they're gonna look at themselves like, hey, you know, I'm selling this game for 50 bucks, but GameStop is only selling it for 20 bucks, so I think I should lower my prices as well, and you know, hope for the best. So those are the only two things that I can see good out of this issue, is people uh, with nothing but GameStops in the area able to um, pick up retro games out of GameStop. I don't know, I'm flicking you off, but I'm not. And uh, actually, the demand of and the prices of retro games actually dropping down in price. Uh, those are two positive things that I see from this issue. 
Okay, so now I talked about the positive, let's go ahead and talk about the negative. Uh, one negative thing that I do see coming from this, uh, GameStop, you know, now that they will be, you know, distributing uh, retro and vintage games, they will probably destroy or help take down more smaller companies and that's something that I know for a fact I wouldn't want to see like you know even though I do have a few um, retro game stores in my area in Las Vegas you know I don't want to see them go down to business just because of GameStop you know switching to vintage and modern games you know people be like oh well why do I have to go to this store I can go to GameStop you know it's more closer to my house and they sell games that I'm looking for Thus, you know, the other store is not getting enough business and they have to close down. And that's something that would suck really bad. And I would have to rape GameStop for that because that would definitely piss me off. You know, I'd like to go to my independent game stores to support them, to show them that, hey, you know, I'm still interested in retro games. This is the stuff I grew up with and this is the stuff I want to see. And um, another thing that I think that would cause this to be a bad idea is um, something that I talked about in the pros of this uh, um, thing to happen you know the games may be going down in price uh, what if GameStop actually gets those games and makes the prices even higher like that would be really crazy like say for example uh, someone trades in a copy of Earthbound for the Super Nintendo loose cartridge slates and like in bad condition like the labels ripped off say GameStop's like oh well we'll give you 10 bucks for it they give the guy the 10 bucks they go ahead and sell it for like $150 uh, those are other things that I do see um, negative things that I do see from this you know GameStop getting another excuse to rip off people for vintage games and selling them like if it was like in midnight like new condition even though it, it isn't night new condition it's all messed up but they're selling it like that and um, I mean unfortunately you know I, GameStop has been doing that for years. I mean, I know, yeah, they're a business and they need to make money, but I don't like their tactics or the tactics that they're doing to make the money. They're just ripping us gamers off. And that's something that I don't like to see. But, I mean, hey, you know, they care more about the money than their the, their customers. So, I mean, I guess this, that's just how it is. And um, what else can I think of besides rip, uh, ripping the gamers off? I mean, yeah, like selling the games for high prices and, you know, maybe uh, some of the classic games and systems may be going up even higher in price. And then when people see this, like, oh, look at GameStop, they're selling this game for 20 bucks. Maybe we should sell it too. And ultimately, that may cause a lot of the thrift stores to raise the prices on games too. Maybe everyone's going to want to sell games for high prices just because GameStop's doing it. And eventually... If that happens, and I'm not able to find games for a good deal like I used to, I'm moving to another country. Fuck that. I'm not dealing with this shit no more. <laughs> but, no, nah, but, um, yeah, I mean, I can see more bad things happening, but I can also see some good things happening. I mean, we're just going to have to wait and see and see what the future holds for us gamers. Uh, so, yeah, guys, that was the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. You know, let me know what your thoughts are on this topic. You know, if you want to leave a video response, that will be really cool. But if you want to leave just a simple comment, hey, that's okay, too. Uh, just go ahead and leave them on the bottom below or make a video response if you'd like. But until then, this is your main man, Crazy Gabano, taking over worldwide. So once again, hope you guys enjoyed. Take care, God bless, and have a good one, everybody. Peace.